Hey guys, it's Michelle. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm making a video that I should have made many years ago. This video should have existed on my channel right from the beginning and I'm not quite sure why I've waited until now to make it. Pretty much I started this type 1 diabetes YouTube channel three and a half years ago. I make all sorts of videos like vlogs, diabetes tech videos, type 1 tips and trick videos, but one thing I have never had on here is just a video talking to people who have just been diagnosed. I've realized recently that a lot of comments and emails and messages I'm getting are from people who have just been diagnosed with type 1 and they have come to my YouTube channel looking for some support, some guidance, even just to see what their new life with type 1 is going to look like by watching some of my vlogs. And that totally makes sense because I would have done the exact same thing if YouTube had existed when I was first diagnosed. So this video is for you guys. You guys out there who have been diagnosed with diabetes, you're scared, you're confused, you don't know what to expect next, you're wondering if you can live a normal life. Well, I can tell you right off the bat that you can. I am 30 years old now. I was diagnosed when I was 12. I am now married, I have a job, I have a PhD. I have been able to do everything I've wanted to do with type 1 diabetes. So today's video is almost like a letter to myself. These are some things that I would have liked to know when I was first diagnosed with type 1 diabetes at 12 years old. So these are five pieces of advice that I would have given little Michelle as she was diagnosed with type 1. But I know a lot of you guys out there that watch my channel have been living with type 1 for a very long time. Some of you even 50, 60 years, which is incredible. So it would be great to hear all of your perspectives on living with type 1. So please leave a piece of advice for someone who has just been diagnosed in the comments section down below. What would you have wanted to hear from someone living with type 1 when you were first diagnosed? The more pieces of advice there are, the better. So let's get started. The first thing I would have told my little self is that living with diabetes is a roller coaster. Not just with respect to blood sugars going up and down, but also there's a really big emotional component with diabetes as well, which I never expected. Some days you are going to feel so good and so in control of this disease, and you're gonna be like, take that diabetes. But then other days you're going to feel defeated and just not understand why things aren't working out. And that's totally normal for type one and totally okay as well. For example, the other day my blood sugar was just all over the place for no reason at all. I wasn't doing anything different from the day before and I was trying so hard to get my blood sugar back into range but nothing was working. So when I have days like this, I like to remind myself that each day is a fresh start. So what, today was a failure but tomorrow I have a chance at starting fresh and getting things right or starting over again and hopefully it will work out better the next day. Another thing I wish I knew when I was diagnosed is that I will never stop learning. I thought that at this point, at 30 years old, after living with type 1 for almost 18 years, I would know pretty much everything. I I'd have it down pat, no problems whatsoever. But the thing is, with type one, you really never stop learning about your disease and your body. Also, as you age, your body is changing and you're growing, so different things come up, especially with hormones when you go through puberty. It's all part of living with diabetes, but you do get used to it. You become a really good problem solver. Number three, and this is the most important thing I wish I would have known, and I still try to stress to a lot of people who watch this channel, all type ones are different with respect to how they manage their diabetes. There are a variety of ways that a type one diabetic can manage their diabetes with respect to the type of insulin they take, if they are on insulin pens or an insulin pump like I am, what kind of foods you eat, what you do for exercise, the list goes on and on. So like I said before, I've had this diabetes YouTube channel for about three and a half years now, so in doing so, I realize I have opened the doors for a lot of criticism for how I manage my disease, and that's exactly what has happened. I have gotten a lot of comments over the years from other people living with type 1 diabetes commenting on how I'm managing my disease wrong or doing things wrong, but the reality is the approach that one person takes to managing their diabetes is so personal. So just because you see someone online like myself 
managing their diabetes by eating a specific diet or using a specific type of insulin pump, it doesn't mean that that is the correct way or the gold standard by any means. It just means that that is what works for that particular person's lifestyle and their body. I get a lot of messages from newly diagnosed type 1 diabetics asking if they should go on an insulin pump and what insulin pump is the best. But like I said, it's so personal. I can't tell you, oh yes, go on this insulin pump. It honestly varies so much from person to person. And it takes a while to figure out what management style is best for you when you're first diagnosed. For example, when I was diagnosed, I was on syringes for five years. And then I finally realized that the pump better suits my lifestyle. If you really want to look into getting the pump, I suggest you do some research online, talk to your diabetes education team, also, my friend, Nerdabetic, who has an amazing diabetes technology channel here on YouTube, just came up with a video on guidelines for choosing your insulin pump, and it's honestly such a well done video. I wish I would have had this video when I was choosing my first insulin pump. So I'm gonna link it up here for you guys. But like I said, it takes time to figure out what works for you, and especially when you're first diagnosed, you have so many other things to figure out, let alone the technology side of things. So just be patient and give it time. Number four, community, type one community, get involved because there's nothing better than being involved in the type one community when you have type one diabetes. It's almost like being part of a very supportive, loving family. You all get each other, you all understand each other. Although it may feel like you're really alone right now when you've just been diagnosed and nobody really understands what you're going through, Trust me, there are a ton of people online going through the exact same thing as you and would love to connect and chat with you. Some organizations you can check out for events would be like JDRF, Beyond Type 1, Connected in Motion. I'm gonna link all of those down below. They quite often host like meetups and events. You can see if there's any in a city near you. Also get involved in social media, like on Instagram. There's a huge type one community on Instagram. Just by searching the hashtag type one diabetes, you can find so many people. Also feel free to give me a follow. I follow a lot of T1D Instagrammer, so you can always check that out to see who I follow. Also a lot of great people here on YouTube, like my friend Nerdabetic, he does all the cool tech videos. She's diabetic, type 1 Lindsay, uh, the list goes on and on, diabetic Danica, but I'll put them all in the description box again. Overall, there is just so much support out there online that you can find, you just kind of have to search for it and find that community, but once you do, I guarantee you, you're going to be so happy that you did. And the last one, number five, let's end on a positive note. There are, believe it or not, a lot of positives to living with type 1 diabetes. I truly believe that having type 1 has brought a lot of good things into my life, and without having type 1, I would never have done these things or met certain people. Having type 1, I think, has made me very motivated and hardworking because we have to take such good care of ourselves and be disciplined in our diabetes. I believe that these skills have translated over into my schoolwork. I never really realized this until I was doing my PhD. I remember one day I was with my PhD supervisor and she was telling me how she had no idea how much work type 1 diabetes was and that she thinks the reason why I'm so disciplined in my PhD is because I have to be so disciplined with taking care of myself. And I was like, that's a really good point. I never thought of it that way. I have also met some of my best friends for the type 1 diabetes community that I never would have met without having type 1 and I'm so grateful for these people in my life. I've also had some amazing experiences because of type 1 diabetes. I've gone to diabetes camp, I've gone to lots of different events and meetups. A lot of experiences that I've had in my life I wouldn't have had without type 1. Especially this YouTube channel. I never would have made this channel even. You would have never seen this face on YouTube. So. Those are some of the things that I'm saying to my past self and I hope that it can bring you guys some comfort for those of you who are coming to this channel who are just diagnosed. I totally get it. I know how you feel. We were all there at some point. It's really scary, but trust me, it's gonna be okay. Just take it day by day. You'll be fine. You're gonna have a completely normal, fulfilling life. Carry on with life as you plan. Do everything you want it to do. There's no reason the diabetes should stop you. And that's it for me for today. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!